Hi, I am Monique Burns with Great Day Property Management and today I have a story for you. This one is a little bit different because what we do, we buy houses in Detroit, we renovate them, we place a tenant and we sell the houses to investors all over the country and all over the world and we provide the property management. But today I have a real horror story. It's October, so I thought it's time for a great scary story of how absolutely everything that could go wrong that you could imagine went wrong with this particular house. So I'm very excited to tell you all about it. So let's key up the intro so you can see who we are and let's get started. couple approach us and typically my investors are international. It's the strangest thing that in Detroit people do not realize what a gold mine we are sitting on with the return on investment. Our investors make between 9 and 15 percent ROI since we started our property management business in 2015. Well, there's a lot to it, the behind the scenes things that make people get this excellent ROI. This woman called and she had seen some of my videos and she said that she wanted to buy some houses turnkey from us. And turnkey means that there's already a tenant in it, so our houses are so newly renovated, it's really a great purchase. So we ended up selling her two of our houses. She was very happy and in the process she said, well, she does live locally, which was a really big surprise. My first person ever to call that's local. She has done this herself a little bit where she and her husband put out signs saying, hey, if you want to sell your house, we'll buy them. And it worked really well in their first house. But then their second house that I'm standing at right now, it did not go so well. So they met this guy and he said he, he would sell them this house for $12,000. And it's a beautiful house, it's four bedrooms, and it's on the west side of Detroit. They said, great, and there are a lot of things that they didn't know about purchasing houses. And a couple of the things that they didn't know was when you purchase a house, you wanna make sure that the deed is a good deed, meaning that it has to be clear. When we buy houses ourselves, we go through a process with our title company to make sure that the whole deed is clear. We make sure there's no taxes owed, no big water bills, all that happens at a closing. But this guy sold it to them on a quick claim deed, which is more of a deed that you use like between family members, like grandma wants to give you her house, and so she just signs it over to you. You don't have to worry about it. You know grandma doesn't have any liens or water bills or tax bills that she didn't pay because grandma's really good at paying her bills. That's kind of the idea why there are even are quick claim deeds. They did buy this house on a quick claim deed, but they really liked this guy. He's such a good guy. And he promised that he could renovate this house for $15,000. And he happened to be in construction and he was living in the house. So they thought, deal, this is fantastic. Well, then it comes out that there is a little problem, he said with a tax bill, but because he had a health issue and he could prove it, he's able to get out of it. And he can just for, I think the deal was like, for like six months, if he paid $100, he could get out of it. And I don't think they really knew how bad the tax bill was because the guy was a little shifty. And, but the thing was, he said he knows Eric Sabri, who's the past Wayne County treasurer. And that's how he knows that he can get out of whatever these back taxes were and why he got on this really fantastic deal. A lot of the things he said were partial truths. You can get on a tax payment plan if you're behind. And in certain months, like October is a month that you can start to get on a payment plan if you're three years behind and you only have to pay 10% down but each month it gets worse and worse how much you have to put down um, to save your house from foreclosure so they knew that that was an issue well it came time for him to run down to make the first payment but he had this little problem he ran out of gas and he couldn't get there and if he didn't have gas money how is he ever going to pay off how is he ever going to start this payment plan arrangement he has with eric sabri himself so they actually met him at the gas station with gas money and the guy said, no, I swear it's true. He said, watch this. And he picked up the phone and he called Eric Sabri himself right in front of them. 
And they were like, okay, he's a player or something. This is good. So they gave him the $50 more than he needed to fill his tank because they're generous people. And so the guy goes, he's like, yep, everything's fine. We're all good with the taxes. And then there was a situation with water. And he said, well, now, you know, there is some water that's owed on this house. But the water department made a big mistake. So they're going to wipe out 70% of the water bill. So don't you worry about it. And I've got it all in writing about it. So really, we only owe 30% of the water bill. And the water bill was $3,500. So they knew that part. Well, that was partial truth. We'll get to that. And so the other thing that happened was he was working on some construction job and he needed to pay for some supplies to finish a, finish a job on a different house, not this house. And as soon as he did that, he would get paid for the job, but he was $2,000, $2,500 short to pay for the supplies. And it was Christmas time and he had the cutest little daughters. And so this couple who are very, very kind hearted people felt like they were doing a really good thing and they loaned him for only seven days, $2,500. Well, this guy did not start working on this house. And by now they're like, okay, we've loaned him gas money. We've given him this other loan that turned out into a gift. He's not renovating the house. And now he's calling saying, there's somebody on the street that keeps breaking in and this isn't good and I'm, I'm out of here. And they're thinking, well, that's good, he's out of here. And he's, he said, I'm out of here and I am gonna go move in with my new girlfriend or wife or something in Bloomfield Hills. So like, good, we got rid of him. But then they came to the house because they wanted to put on a new roof and it needed a new roof and they couldn't do any of the renovation without it. And it turned out when they got here, there were squatters. So now here they are stuck with that. So meanwhile, they say, well, we better figure out what's going on with the taxes. We got rid of this guy. He's not helping at all. So the owner called Wayne County. She ended up going down to Wayne County to figure out what's going on with the taxes. And they said, oh yeah, we do make payment plans. Never have we given away anything with the taxes because of a health issue that doesn't exist. We don't have any plan like that. Well, what is the tax bill? How much does he owe? $15,000. So they had to, the couple that bought this house had to get on a payment plan and the down payment by then was way higher than it would have been back had this guy just been honest from the beginning which he probably, they would have never bought the house had he been honest from the beginning. They had one year to come up with that 15,000 on the payment plan. So then she goes to the water department and finds out the partial truth there. Oh no, we never made a deal with him. We never said that there was something false about the water. They said, actually he was stealing the water. So we had to lock it, but no, you owe the whole thing. But for 30%, he could have gotten on a payment plan, but um, he didn't. So if you want us to unlock it, you have to get on a payment plan. So they had to put 30% down and pay the whole rest of the 70% on the payment plan. So here they are stuck with this beautiful four bedroom house and they just bought two houses from us and they're like, okay, what do we do with this house? So they asked us if we would come in and give them an estimate of what it would cost to renovate this house. Well, we don't normally do this, uh, but it happened to be, this is during coronavirus and we had a slowdown in our sales some of our buyers backed out so our whole cash flow was affected and we didn't want to lose our crew so we needed to keep our crew busy so we went ahead and we gave them the estimate and they decided that it was good they would do it they're going to renovate it they're not going to just let it go to foreclosure because these people like to do the right thing so we are now renovating this house and i just made a few videos of our head renovator jeff going from floor to floor so Gotta Reggie, be careful. Hold on a second with the shovel. Okay. This electrical line right here yeah. was live and sitting in a puddle of water underneath the stairs. Oh my gosh. It's How did you know? I could hear it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so that is what you're going to see in the next videos. So be sure that you are subscribed and you watch for that. Now, if you're into this business in Detroit and you need somebody to come out and give you an idea of what it would cost to renovate something, let's say you have another quote and you want to make sure it's legit, you want to make sure that you're not getting bamboozled like this couple did, Pat and I, between the two of us, we offer boots on the ground consulting. Check out my website um, on my consulting page and you'll see all the different things that we could do that could have prevented this couple from all the trouble that they got in. Oh, it's so sad. 
but this video you'll see Jeff our head renovator walk through and talk about everything he's going to do and I'm going to follow this project all the way until it's time to find a tenant so you'll get to see it at the end when it's all beautiful. So I've got this one over here on all my section 8 secrets revealed. I do a lot of section 8 so check that out and this video is about uh, investing in Detroit and then over here I have you can subscribe to me here here's yeah. what YouTube says you will want to see next what's the best for you is it true thanks for watching